a break, man. Give him a break because he sure deserves one. And when he's back from his break, you'll see his parts made in Japan. He is the modern man. So, so give him a break. hey guys, Victor, give me a break, man, with Molly, all the way from Shizuoka. Molly over there. Yes, and I've got the uh, GoPro set on my chest cam, my new little contraption here, which is not as steady as the head head uh, cam, as I've been told. But and I can put my voice right next to the mic, right, <laughs> so you can hear me. Right? You want my mouth right on you, right? You want my mouth on you, right? Isn't that right? Right. Oh, hold on a second, Victor. <laughs> hold, 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 hold it before we get into this. Um, if i if I'm recording your audio too, uh huh, you're not going to be able to cut your audio off of my audio. That's fine. Okay. I'll I'll just overlap it. Let's just keep going. Okay. 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 I'm on now. Okay, we are in, uh, yeah, as, as Molly just said, he's in Shizuoka, I am in Nagoya. It is uh, Monday night, the, no, Tuesday night, the 24th. Tuesday night. It's what the, I like uh, to call, better, what I like to call Better Call Saul night. Better what? Oh, better, better Call, call Saul, Saul you Better night. Call Saul, right? right. I thought you were going to get a Better Call Paul, but. <laughs> um, I actually had a contraption to cut the wind. But there's a little, we had a little snafu with it, so it won't be available until next time. But next time we'll have better sound with a, I'll have a wind, uh, what's it called? A wind sock to help yeah, us. Not yeah, a wind sock, but you know, yeah, a wind muffler. So, so please put up with the bad wind sound this time. It'll be better next time. Right. Anyway, today we're here to talk about obesity. Yes, something yes. I know much about. Yeah. So, uh, let me let me uh, introduce to the audience why I've chosen this subject today. Because I'm a fat ass? Uh, not because you're a fat ass. <laughs> Actually, I chose you oh. to accompany me on this journey because because you're a fat ass and and you're not uh, you don't have any problems with being a fat ass. So. Right. No, because we know you know you need to talk. You know, if you're going to talk about gays, it's better to have a gay person there. Mm. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Anyway. Well, yeah. And if, no, you're, actually, if, you're, and if you're going to talk about weight, you might as well. If, you know, you're talking to a heavy person. You yeah. better have somebody that can handle certain things, you know? Right, exactly. Exactly. And give us a first-hand experience and perspective. Right. First person perspective. So, this is how the subject came along. I have a friend here on YouTube who uh, we were talking about another YouTuber who an American guy who's had trouble who's applied to many for too many jobs uh, as an English teacher and although he's qualified and fairly intelligent and young, he's had he's had no bites. No one wants to hire him. Mm. So, uh, and we, you know, we were both, he, he, I was thinking in my head, it's probably because he's big and fat, you know, yeah. <laughs> which I, which is, a, I guess, a bigoted thing. Is there a, is there a way, is there a word for people who are bigoted against fat people? <laughs> Just big and fat. So, no, bigoted against, no? Uh. There must be a word for some, someone who's big, bigoted against fat people. But anyway, yeah. Uh. so I thought to myself that I'm, but I kept it to myself, and my friend said maybe it's because he's fat. <laughs> so, so okay, there, there. We oh, got he said he open, said right? it himself. Yeah, he said it himself. Oh, okay. But he was he wasn't the person we were talking. About. We we're talking about a third person, right? Right. Another person was actually. Uh, we were, we're talking about third person, person, right? So okay. Anyway, he's and anyway we were talking about health, and I was talking about qualifications for being a teacher, and how it would be nice if we increased the qualifications a little bit to make it. To make pay a little bit better, so New Zealanders couldn't come in here on their working holiday and rip and you know lower the prices down to everything to right, a thousand right, right. an hour. And it's so crowded here today, so I'm going through a crowd here. But anyway, um, so one of the qualifications he mentioned at his school was that you had to pass a health check, mm. right? Right. And I was surprised. And actually, he told me his boss was actually obese. Oh, oh, okay. And and that his boss probably couldn't get hired at that company now because he wouldn't pass his own tests. Now, was the was the boss foreign or Japanese? Foreigner, foreigner. Yeah, okay. He's a foreigner. Yeah. You, you, oh my God! You if you could you see what I could see right now, Molly, talk about the opposite of obese. Yeah, you're supposed to whistle once in a while. Oh yeah. You, Molly cannot see this, but this is. Oh, uh, I can imagine me, it though, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, but Jesus Christ. There you go. We'll come, oh, we'll come back to that. It's a temptation. We won't know. We won't come back to that ever, ever again. <laughs> <laughs> Will that's, I see it on the finished video? 
minutes. Yes, you will. In the, okay, in the finished awesome. videos. Yeah. Or you'll come back to that. Okay. <laughs> I see. I think I think uh, that ship has sailed for both of us a long time ago. <laughs> anyway, no, seriously though, um, we were talking about the health checkup. Uh, checkup. So you have you cannot be obese to work at his company. You cannot get. I'm sorry. You cannot get hired to work at his company if you are obese. Okay. Okay. And and he understood. He said it's because you know they teach a lot of kids, and. Mm -hmm. it, and you know, if you're teaching kids, you want to be able to play with the kids, and they want to be active. Yeah, you got to be able said, to move he, around. Yeah, yeah. So they teach, I guess. Uh, I'm assuming. I don't. I really get the age number, but I'm thinking about 10 years old or something. Mm. But anyway, he did say that his own boss had trouble teaching. In that, for the strangest thing, you'll never guess what the biggest problem was. What with was him. it? He would lose the children. <laughs> <laughs> now you being you being a big guy, can you imagine what that means? Yeah, out of his peripheral range. Yeah, yeah. They would the children would get behind him, and he would not be able to find them. Right, would be, be like able, uh, wouldn't be able to. Where did that kid enough. go? Yeah, and he'd be like behind him on the right, you know. And my but my my buddy was in the classroom with him. He'd say they would say, "Where's the little Akita?" Go, oh, he's right behind you. <laughs> to your actually not even right behind you. To your right. <laughs> Like at your knee level or something. But. It's like that Far Side cartoon where the uh, the fat lady's looking for her poodle. She's screaming out the window for it, and the, the poodle's wedged oh, yeah. up in her ass crack. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to super find that and super put that on the uh, on the video here. But all right. But anyway, uh, so I wanted to know if there were any laws to protect fat people from discrimination in Japan because I'm pretty sure there's this, there are laws against that in the States. Well, it's, it's laws protecting the heavy people, I'm not sure. Uh, you and I were talking today about an article that we had read that the uh -huh. government has mandated waistline limits for for people. Uh, right, I amazingly small. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm obese. I don't, I don't even fit in that. Yeah, the men the men were like thirty three and a half inches, and the yes, women were like I couldn't believe it. And the women 35. were bigger. The women were a like little bit bigger, which doesn't make sense, right? <laughs> yeah. The metabolic law, metabo metabol law is what they meta, call it. Metabol, metabol, metabol. So, for those of you who don't know, meta metabol is the Japanese. It's a Japanization of the English metabolic. Right. Which doesn't mean the speed at which you devour or consume calories, but rather it refers to anyone who's just overweight. Right. All right. So basically, if, you, if your BMI is high, you're you're qual you're classified as a metabol. Right. Which is and they say you know, it's it, uh, when the weight is above the waist. Like right. When, like when you got a heavy stomach and a heavy chest. Right. Because some people are big in the bottom too, right? Right. Yeah. She's got she's got um, back right. Uh -huh. Right. That's uh, is that considered in Japan? Is there is there a is there a preference? Like in, you know, in the states, like big butt is okay, generally speaking. I don't think they like big butt so much in Japan, right? No, I don't think they do. You know, one of the one one thing that a lot of foreign guys complain about Japanese women is they don't have any ass. Yeah, we talked about this. Before. Yeah. Um, no ass. Yeah, I think they like them. I think they like them really thin. <laughs> we but, we would like to now just. Offer a silent minute to remember all the asses that no longer exist. <laughs> to all the asses. Just to bemoan that fact, right? No, but um, yeah, the the, the there. So, did you understand that article? It said there's a law. That's what it says. Being, now, now to to be totally honest, other than this article, I've never heard anything like that. No, I've seen I've seen people pop up. There there have been rumors of oh, there's a law in Japan you can't be fat, but the law is not so much as a like a criminal law. It's more of a federally mandated guideline, right? Right, but the 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 article makes it look like you could lose your job. Oh yeah, they, well what happens is that I think they put you on like some kind of probation thing. Well, it's I'm, I'm looking at the I don't article think they fire here. You. Yeah, it says that NEC. The, the personal computer right. maker. And it says right? it's possible to incur as much as $19 million in penalties for failing to meet the targets. Oh, the company, but not the individual people, I think. Yeah, but, you know, if the company is going to take a hit, they'll get rid of the people, right? I think it would still be 
pretty tough to fire somebody for being fat. Well, I'm sure but they I wouldn't tell them because they're, it's their because they're Okay, fat. have you ever heard of anyone being fired for being fat? No. No, yeah, I haven't either. And uh, I've got a lot of students, but most of them... Well, the, the other weird thing about this uh, about Japan is that um, there are just no fat people here. This, I mean, natives, very few. Right. And the statistics are 0.3%, is that right? Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, it was really, no, really no, three, low. No, no, I'm sorry, 3.5%. 3.5%. 0.3% is the murder rate. 100,000. 0.3 people per 100,000 people are murdered. Right, right, right. So there's more there's more fat people than there are uh, murder victims. Uh. In the States, I was just looking up the murder rate. It's just a, a, just off the side, a little side uh, information. According to uh, Wikipedia, which is fairly pretty good about stats, mm -hmm. 442 people are murdered in Japan annually. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're not talking about suicide, just murder. Right. And in America, it was 14,500, something like that. Yeah. Which is not, it's not like double or triple or 10 times. It's like 30 times more. Right, 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 right. It's right. just amazing. I don't know. I have to check out that stat. I'm not good with numbers, but. Okay, uh, yeah, Victor, it was 3.5% uh, 3. 3. of the population classified as obese, and they're going to try to cut that by 25% by 2015. Wow. They should be concentrating more on suicide, don't you think, than fat people? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. But uh, you know, we got you got priorities. First, get them thin, then and then work on suicide, right? <laughs> but but hey, you never know. Uh, they may have this law in effect to keep them hotties walking down the street for you. <laughs> what would I put on my GoPro, right? <laughs> right, exactly. That was a little dangerous. I've moved to an area that has no women at all now. In fact, no, yeah. almost nobody would. But uh, going, going back to that law, yeah, it looks like 80% of NEC was being tested, or what was that 80% number they, that, that was in the article? Um, uh, they have to measure the waistlines of at least 80% of its employees, which, which was uh, oh. Matsusta, Matsusta Denki, which makes Panasonic. Okay, right. And so that's they have to measure half of 80% of their employees. No. They have to measure the waistlines of at least 80% of its employees oh, along with their families and retirees. Yeah, that's the part that freaked me out. Right. And retirees? Right. What? Yeah, Who the I guess I, cares? Well, they're probably riding the insurance, right? Oh, right. Good point. Okay, mm. here's another thing, though. The uh, Have you ever seen a fat old person? Not many. Very rarely. I don't think... I think I've never seen a fat old person. Mm. Well, you, and then, you know, what we consider fat, like, true. we're thinking, like, huge, huge fat people, right? Well, even though, even the word obese is, uh, is hard to Hard to apply to a Japanese well, person. Yeah, yeah. It, doesn't, it doesn't matter. Our, our image of obese and Japan's image of obese is definitely different. I right. think I'm technically obese now, maybe, That's according possible. to that article. Yeah, you my know, waistline must be thirty six or thirty seven now. Well, yeah, like Tomoko's considered fat. Really? Yeah, and she's tiny. Well, the other thing that doesn't make sense is that those waistlines don't take height into account at all. No. Right? It's just a flat rate. It's just right. a number. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm overweight, but they don't consider the fact that I'm six feet tall. Mm. You know? Yeah, and, and you know, and they really go by that uh, that weight number that's recommended by the doctor, you know, the weight versus height, blah, 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 yes. blah. Like, I'm 185 centimeters tall. Right. So I'm supposed to be like 83 kilograms. Yeah, that's crazy. And the last time I was at the doctor, my muscle weight was 92 kilograms. That would be pretty w weird if you could do that, actually. So how could how could I get down to 83 kilograms? Maybe some of that muscle is like light muscle. <laughs> it could be. Maybe some of it's white muscle. <laughs> it could be. White meat. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure on a diet I would lose some muscle with it, but I don't think 10 kilograms. Right. So if the law, mm. yeah, that would be too much. So that'd be crazy. <laughs> Mm. If the law, uh, if there is a law, even if it doesn't penalize you mm. personally, like on an individual level, if it does penalize a company, mm. then I suppose there's almost um, there's almost man like government mandated uh, bigotry against fat people. Yeah. Because how can you you can how can you how can you not justify firing someone if they're costing you money? That's right. You know, it's like, dude, you're. You know, we gave you a year to, to shed the weight. You haven't shed it, so you're you're gone. You know. Right. 
Even the guy would be able to complain, right? Mm. I mean, they warned the guy, right? So, yeah. But in the States, you couldn't do that. You wouldn't be able to do that in the States. No. No. No, no, no. no, no okay, definitely. so that's that's one thing. So, And we were talking about, I don't, we don't know if this happens anymore, but in the, in the old days, if you were big in, in America, you had to buy two seats on an airplane. Yeah, you know, oh, I should have looked that up today. I don't know what the, uh, I don't know if that's still... Well, someone will look it up. Someone check in the comments. We'll tell us in the comments, please, <laughs> that's if that's right, still right. law. Their, their priority. I'm pretty sure that some fat person or two, sorry, they sued and that they, they, they consider it uh, discrimination to charge someone double because they're fat. Right. But I'm not sure about that. Now, you, I, you recently had the experience of uh, taking the Shinkansen in Japan. I'm sorry. You had you recently took the Shinkansen in Japan. Yes. And tell us about that. Uh, well, Tomoko and I were going down to Kyushu, and we got we decided to get the green car because it's like first class. And uh, we got on, and we went into the green car. There wasn't anybody in there. We had the run of the place, and I couldn't sit down because the arm. Is stationary it wouldn't raise up between the seats right and it's really thick wood so it's not like right. I could have like wedged in and bent it out of the way or something right yeah I, I couldn't fit I couldn't even I couldn't even get one ass cheek in there how uh, how close were you not at all oh not even not even close really? so their idea of, of a first-class comfortable seat mm. is definitely nothing that would fit a normal big person mm. Okay, so what happened? Uh, so uh, the when the conductor came through checking the tickets, I was, you know, standing there, with, you know, on my knee, one knee right. on the one knee in the in the seat and the foot on the floor, and we handed him tickets. We explained the situation. He kind of giggled, you know. He was like, "Oh, oh you know, that type of thing." Oh, and, you're fat. Yeah, and uh, he went he went down to the uh, reserved car and uh, found some seats that hadn't been bought. Uh huh. So he assigned them to us. So we. Got to what do you mean reserve car? What's a, what's a reserve car? Uh, the reserve tickets, the reserve seats. <laughs> what's the difference between a green seat, a gr a green seat and a reserve seat? Uh, other than that, other than that armrest, I have no idea, Victor. Did you pay more for the reserve seat? I think there's a little more leg room. <laughs> oh. In the green car. Oh. And then you've oh. got then you've oh, got say oh. Then you've got the reserve seats and then the non-reserve seats. So uh, the non reserve yeah. So uh, he moved us down to a to a reserved seat, and you know, so nobody, uh, you know, nobody could move us out of the way, and you know, it worked out. And you did, and you did not have to pay more. No, the green car is actually more than the reserved seat. So, but with that said, we didn't get any money back. Oh right, right. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. So mm. so that's what happens in Japan if you're fat. Uh, they actually. Don't penalize you. And just... Well, the other, the other thing is you're a foreigner, so I'm sure. Right. I'm sh that thing must happen to foreigners all the time, though. Right. I mean, I'm sure there's people in the comments section who come to Japan and, and have dealt with this, the size problem. And it is not. And you did a video, right? Remember that video you did about fitting into the bathroom? Mm-hmm. What you were able to fit in the bathroom, right? But you couldn't turn around. You had to back into it. How to work? Yeah, 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 yeah. I had to like stand up on the toilet to shut the door. Jesus. Yeah. yeah, that stuff is crazy, and then, and if you're even just like five ten, that's basically I think five ten is the, is the com most comfortable maximum size you could be. Right, maybe which yeah. is about one hundred eighty. Yeah, maybe. I'm I'm one eighty two and a half, one eighty three, whatever, whatever six feet is. Mm. But uh, yeah, I bumped my head. Apparently, Rachel's uh, husband June bumps his head all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's tall. And he's yeah. Japanese. Right. So that doesn't make any sense. Mm. Japan's going to have to start, you know, learning to live with the fact that the some Japanese are, getting are just taller. Mm. Yeah, getting bigger. And even just normal, even though we're not just not talking about height, but there are, there are quite a few just big Japanese these days. Right, yeah. They're just getting bigger all over. Right? And so. which, again, we get the blame for, right, for eating Western foods. Ah, right, yeah. Yeah, they, they blame Western food for obesity now, right? Mm. Uh, sorry, Victor, I'm going to step back just a second here uh, on uh, the uh -huh. on the two seats on the airlines. Uh huh. Um, I pulled it up here. Uh, there is no industry-wide policy. Uh huh. Um, but like American Airlines, if you can't fit right. a single seat, you get you have to. If you can't buckle your seatbelt, 
you have to get, you know. So uh, Delta has no rule. So, but it's got a list of all the airlines here. So right, and what their policies oh, okay. are. So link, save that link. We'll put it in the description. Okay, people can check. All right. I think there's some kind of like uh, extension for a seatbelt. Right. For big people. Oh yeah, I've had to use it. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't know what that looks like, but. So you do uh, get a chance. I guess it, if it's you're like, like it's like a it's like a two foot long seat belt. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Fits between the two pieces. All right. Okay. Now, what about discrimination in Japan? Um, I'm my so my my theory is that this guy is having trouble finding a job because he's big. But at the same time, I know lots of big people. Right. Some people here on YouTube, who are English teachers and have apparently been holding down jobs for years. Right. And my theory is. It's hard to get a job if you're big, but once you get the job and you kind of ingratiated a, or, you know, you, you, they, they've learned to love you, mm. then they're not going to fire you over over being big. Possibly. And you personally have had no, no experience with this, all right? Uh, none that I'd like to talk about. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> what does that mean? You know what I mean. Okay, so you've had some experiences, but you'd rather not talk about it right now. Yeah, yeah. So some, some, some negative. So you but, won't but, say but it, it, it it's doesn't not, It's not because I'm embarrassed about it. It's just because I don't want to talk about my job. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, well, yeah. I mean, people people in your workspace will sometimes you know, treat you a little bit, you know, a little bit, a little bit overly familiar mm. sometimes. That, uh, that I've never really had. Uh, yeah, but then again, I don't really have a complex about my weight. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it, it, you know how it is here in Japan. It's typical for Japanese people just to bluntly say, boy, you're fat. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, that doesn't really bother me. Uh, it's just, I, it's not like, it's not like I woke up one day and I was like this, you know? Right. That's, that is something that's always, but what bothered me is, is Japanese thinking that it's okay to say, Hey, long time to see. Did you gain weight? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you haven't, you know? Yeah, that seems to be not even an insult. It just seems to be it's like, like the part way of the greeting, they, isn't it? Yeah, it's like a greeting. Like, oh, uh, haven't seen you in a while. Mention your weight. Like, yeah, not how hot. Did you see that Giants game with the Dragons last night? No, it's. <laughs> did you put on weight, man? Yeah, and and the yeah. funny thing is, they say that to women too. Really? Yeah, really? it's not. It's it's you know, it's the... not like there's, you know. <laughs> I don't really notice that because I I never say that to women, but. Yeah, I yeah. suppose. I wouldn't say that to anybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, I always tell, I always tell people, did you cut your? I always ask, did you cut your hair or did you right. lose weight? But, but not did you gain weight. It's just, oh, anyway, that's a Japanese thing. Yeah. Which you'll have to get used to. It, and if it happens to you, just remember, it's not. They're not trying to insult you. Right. Um, yeah. Just even if you are big and fat. And and I've and I've kind of realized, especially because they they say it in English. They say, "Oh, you're you fat." Um, I've kind of, I've kind of come to the conclusion that they just don't know which words to use. Right. And fat is the only word that they know. The other yeah, thing about, about language, language is, is, if you're learning a language and you have, you cannot say many things. Mm. You tend to say things that you can't get, that are inappropriate just because you know how to say them. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> well, I don't know what to say now. Oh, huh? I'll mention his weight. That's something I can say. <laughs> Absolutely. You're fat, you know. Okay. Yeah, blowing out the obvious. Okay, so, uh, so my, but my, my general idea about getting a job in Japan if you're fat is, you, c it's probably harder if you're bigger. Just it's like, like getting, it's just like, like having tattoos or long hair, it's right. probably harder if you're if you don't have the job. But once you get the job, like I'm like I'm thinking like uh, you know Scott Unrested who has tons of tattoos. Right. And other people who have long hair. Even even in my case, I used to, I got the job when I got the first job. I got I got my hair cut. Mm -hmm. It was short, shortish. And then after I grew comfortable at the job, I grew it out until it was long enough to put in a ponytail. Uh huh. And nobody cared. In fact, people complimented me. You know, I was I still did a good job, and nobody ever commented on it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. It didn't become a source of. You know, uh, it, didn't be, it didn't become an issue. As, as long as I was doing a good job, you know. Right. Never, no, it never became an issue at all once I had the job. Well, you know, I've been uh, considering trying to pick up something part-time, you know, to you uh -huh. know, make a little extra money. And Dave, right. told, Dave told me last week, he says, you are unemployable. Really? Yeah. Because of your weight? Yeah. 
Well, because you're long hair. Yeah, it's my long hair. Take my hair so everybody can see it. Well, you, uh, uh, can we talk about tattoos for a sec? Tattoos? Yeah, do you have any tattoos you want to talk about? Sure. No, and no, no issue with that? Nope. It's never come up? At, 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 my, at my job? Yeah. No, never. Uh, the really? only thing, But I wear shorts to work every day. Uh-huh. So I wear, uh, what do you call it, um, a supporter? Uh-huh. To cover my tattoo so nobody can see it. Oh, I see. But, but you know, the everybody knows I have it except for, the you know, the kids. Right. So many... It's never been an issue. Right. Okay. Nah, nah. Yeah, I, I, see, I, think, I'm I think sure they understand that, if you try that a lot of foreigners have tattoos. They understand that. But what do you... What, would you do you still think you would be as employable if you didn't... If you just showed off the tattoo? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, if oh. people would rather not hire someone with tattoos, right? Yeah, image first, right? Say again? Image first. First impressions, right? Image first, right? Yeah, yeah. Image first, first impressions. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, I would say if you walked in with tattoos, they wouldn't hire you. But right. after they get to know you and you say, look, yeah, you know, I've got a tattoo on my shoulder and you show it to them. Oh, cockwee, you know? Yeah, yeah. After they realize you're not in the mafia. Right. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, tell you one thing that happened to me. You know, I'm in my own small little school mm-hmm. and I was, uh, I was uh, hiring a few years back. And one of our hirees was a ex-Mexican gangbanger mm. who came in and he had the, uh, well, I don't, you know, I don't know how to read tattoo, gang tattoos, but he had the sign on his inner, on the inside of his, between his thumb, thumb and, and pointer, uh-huh. you know, on the top. Yeah, yeah. And he had an eye drop on his eye. Mm. And I'm like, pretty sure this guy was in jail. Right. That, uh, that teardrop means something, doesn't it? I don't remember. Yeah, what. so apparently I think one teardrop is either how many years you've been in jail or how many people you killed. I don't know. Yeah. Honestly, I don't know. But a um, little kid in a karate outfit just hanging out over here. But, uh, yeah, so general rule. Uh, and you've got some really good advice. We talked about this before regarding weight. Mm-hmm. Right? You want to tell them your advice about weight? What was it? The fact that, you know, well, your thing, your, the thing about you is you don't care. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I'm, uh, right? well, I, I don't get offended. Right. I don't get offended by it. So, you know, you can, you can waste your time whining about being overweight, but, you know, you put yourself in that position. So, I mean, if you're going to be like that, you have to expect to hear something from somebody sometime. So I'm just, surprised to hear you say that because you're not going to say that it's genetic. I'm sorry, not going to say what? You're not going to say it's genetic. Oh well, it's, I believe part of it is genetic. I think it can be controlled, right? But it's going to take a lot of extra work, right? But the bottom line is, don't whine about it. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Right, 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 right. Right. You know, Go somebody like me, I could, I could probably lose the weight, but it would take a lot of effort. Right. Whereas somebody like Shane, you know, he could sit down and eat 12 pizzas and probably not gain anything. Bastard. Yeah. That's why we hate Shane. Yeah. Because he's skinny and beautiful. <laughs> oh, well. You know, I'm sitting here with more chins in a Chinese phone book. <laughs> Is that racist somehow? I don't know. I don't care. Um, I don't care. <laughs> Good. Good. Okay, anyway, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, if anyone has any personal experience on... Uh, being overweight or being big in Japan. You know who has a good video on this? It's a guy named Jason, actually. He put out a video quite a few years ago. Jason? We should give that guy a shout out. Jason, uh, Jason Argonauts. Argonauts, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, another person who's actually very comfortable and we should point out that is big, but gets seems to be able to get jobs anytime he wants, is of course Tikio Sam. Right. Yeah, so for those of you who, who, who are worried about your weight, just remember, you know, like that, like they say, if one man can do it, another man can do it. Yeah, you, you know, that, that's, that's the thing. If, if somebody's coming over here, don't come over here fearing that you won't get a job because you're overweight. Right. That's not necessarily the point. Right, of this video, I mean. Yeah. But it might be a little bit harder for you, of course. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I've always been heavy, so, and I've, you know. Yeah. So I think I'm just saying I think it might if, be a little bit harder, but you but you can get the jobs. I think if you dress nice and you don't smell yeah. and you go in right. with a positive attitude and a smile on your face, yeah, you know, 
If you uh, respect human, the rules of human hygiene, you should be okay. Yeah, you know, if you know, right. if you don't have to butter up your hips to slide through the door, you'd probably be okay. <laughs> and now we're going the other direction. <laughs> right. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's wrap this up, Bob. All right. Hey, I want to I want to thank you for joining us today. It's been lending some some uh, weight to the discussion. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I'm bum. No pun intended. No pun intended. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Victor giving me a break, man, and Molly Warmoth Strat. And this is a new, new kind of video we're experiment, experimenting with. If you'd like to uh, let us know what you think, right? That's right. And be able and be sure to check out Molly's uh, channel. And we'll right. be back probably with another uh, one of these uh, Frank Talk type of videos soon. Right. And there's Thanks a. Watching, guys. Sorry, sorry, Victor. There's a uh -huh. there's a Big Paul's Big Nut shirt hanging on my wall here. If anybody wants one. <laughs> in the commercial. Hey, we'll throw in a commercial at the end. Stick around and check out Paul's commercial for his Big Paul. What? Big Paul Big Nuts? Big Paul's Big Nuts. Big Paul's Big Nuts. Right. How can you, how, you can't go wrong. And you know, after I, after I, I got one of those, all my virility problems disappeared. And that's how I was able to father that child. So I'll put a kid, picture of the kid here. So there you go. Yeah, if you want a kid like this, you got to get me That's right. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Remember Victor. the thumbs up, subscribe, rate, comment, and let us know uh, yeah, your experiences regarding being a big person wherever you are. Mm. And talk to you soon. Good night, guys. guys. Don't let your meatloaf. Howdy, this here is Big Paul. Would you like to have my big nuts across your chest? Are you looking to have folks over on a Friday night? Or maybe you're even thinking about hosting a Super Bowl party. Well, don't let everyone go hungry. Run on out and get your hands on Big Paul's Big Nuts. Howdy, this here's Big Paul, and you can spice up any kind of gathering with my Big Nuts. High in protein and low in calories, my mouth-watering nuts will keep a smile on your face. Ooh, Big Paul, your nuts are so big. Careful, honey, they're salty. So make sure at your next shindig, everyone gets a mouthful of my Big Nuts. Big Paul's Big Nuts, they're swinging. Hey guys, I hope you like that little commercial there, Big Paul's Big Nuts. It is time once again for the Big Paul's Big Nuts t-shirt. Now, if you haven't seen these, this is what they look like. Uh, this one's mine. It's big enough to cover a Volkswagen. Big Paul's Big Nuts. The colors don't really show up very well here. Anyway, uh, this is a campaign uh, run by teespring.com and uh, we have to sell 30 shirts. If, you, if we hit our, 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 our target of 30 shirts, uh, your order will be processed. You'll get your shirt. Everybody be happy. Yay, yay, yay. Um, if we don't hit 30 shirts, it's dead in the water. Uh, nobody gets charged anything. We all walk away unharmed. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys will uh, jump in and order these. Push them past 30, 40, 50, you know, knock, knock them out. Knock them out the park. Now, uh, last time we did this, we only had white shirts available, and some people had mentioned that. So this time, uh, let me tell you what we got. Uh, we've got a Hanes tagless tee for $20. It comes in black or white, and it goes up to size 5X. Um, we also have a Gildan 6.1 ounce long sleeve shirt, uh, long sleeve t-shirt. Uh, it's $24, and unfortunately that only goes up to 3X, but that's also available in black and white. Um, and we... And finally, a Hanes Women's Fitted Tee, uh, $20, also available in black and white, and small, medium, large, extra large, whatever the lady sizes are. Um, so yeah, like I said, 30 shirts. Uh, we've got 19 days, 18 hours, and 51 minutes uh, until this campaign is finished. Uh, so if you're gonna if you're gonna get in, uh, do it soon. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> this should be uh, pretty cool. Hopefully, we'll hit our goal and everybody will get a shirt. And uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that. So uh, instead of my usual meatloaf sign off, I will sign you guys off as Big Paul. All right. Howdy, this here is Big Paul. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Y'all have a great week. And remember, life's a lot simpler if you plow around the stumps.